I think what amazes me the most is that there's still a second like a market that like used parts of uh, well you know what if a car gets expensive enough It up and then it gets blown into these nozzles, such oxygen, and that's what creates the flame. Like a hmm. Oh, I see it. Oh, wow. Okay. Eventually, you're not going to be able to see it anymore because it gets so hot. It's not hot. Wait, wait, hot. Oh, Probably most ran off of right? Because that was more popular then. PSI for the main boiler. Wow. And uh, what I'm doing right now is you see the fuel pressure go up as I pump it. Yep. And then oh, this yeah. is your boiler level. This thing here, when we drive, you'll, you'll see oil kind of flops through it, and that's what keeps your cylinder lubricated. And then uh, you got your throttle right here, and these are the valves that operate everything. I'm going to give this to you, All right. that falls off. So I'd rather not lose that again. So right now I just put it in reverse. Sounds reminiscent of that movie, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yep.
they'll bring you out on the street. That's not oh. a bad thing. Oh, okay. For every mile, you use a gallon of water. Wow! And so everything that comes out of that water is, is you know, and when you boil it, uh, sure. the, the condensate that comes out of it is, is uh, sterilized. It's uh -huh. nothing. So all the crap stays behind. So there's about 50 gallons of water condensed into this pool of mud <laughs> in the in the bottom of your boiler. So what they're going to try and do at this point is they're going to open up the bottom valves and blow everything out. To ensure everything's nice and clean? Does to, it get to, to a point where it's dry? Blow even? out? No, not really necessarily because it, it won't dry. As a matter of fact, as soon as it cools below uh, below um, um, a boiling temperature, which right now at 600 PSI is close to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, wow. But as soon as it, it drops below 200,
know, could that sport somebody or did it just change it? Huh? Is that sport somebody? That thing? It's a, so you that, can, you that, can hold your hand in it about two feet away from there. It's superheated water, basically. Well, so you get water at 500 degrees, comes out of there, it expands into steam, and then flash boils off. Okay. Uh, so uh, he didn't blow it down all the way, but um, uh, so he's one of the premier rebuilders in the in the um, in this in this hobby. For I mean, the cars that he deals with are very very expensive. It's, uh, was a character of of a guy driving a. Uh, a 1913 car uh, after he after he drove a 19 or I drive a 1910 car after he drove a 1913 car. Huh. So, do you fellas have a t-shirt you're selling of that by chance? I have no idea. Uh, I think there was. It was on Etsy or something like that. But I'm not that well versed with anything like that. Pretty much an idiot when it comes to computers. <laughs> I think steam has a future. Yeah. No, in this renewable energy future. Yep. Wood is a good is a good alternative. Anytime you, you have to turn the lights on. Good. Hmm. How cool is that? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Not only can you lighten up the way, you can cook a hot dog. Yeah, right. They used to do. <laughs> so what they used to do is they would have these concentrators, and you take sodium carbide, and you get water on it, which would make a settle. That's what like limelight is, right? Yeah, limelight. Oh. And now limelight might be a little bit a similar, though. Yeah, probably. It's like the miners' lamps. And if you look in here, it's really kind of neat because what it makes. Oh yeah. Look at the oh, side. Yeah. You get these two streams of light, and you may want to come real close for that. You get these two streams of, of, of flame that make this real flat flame. And you need this real fat flat flame in order to make light. Huh. Wow. That's interesting. So they're using almost like a gas delivery it, to get more out of the light. It is a gas light. It is a true gas light. Hmm. And of course, the moment electricity became available and accepted, hmm. they fell by the wayside because, mm -hmm. you know... Even though this had something to offer, it had something the cost had and to, simplicity. You had to worry about the tank. You had to worry about another explosive gas. Hmm. And, um, and frankly, you had to light it. Whereas with an electric system, you just pull, pull the switch and boy, you have light. Because it's brighter than this, too. Uh -huh. Cool, eh? Yeah, went right out. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, you're very, very welcome.